Hi guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit, and I am taking you to my ballet bar today. We are gonna do some ballet exercises, and I am gonna show you some of the things that I do in my classes. And so I hope that you will join me. These are great for feet, ankles, calves, legs, and even your core, if you are holding yourself correctly. And that's really kind of fun about ballet is that you actually work your abs and core while you're doing other exercise. So I hope you'll join me. For those of you who replied to my request for input, whether to do voiceover or to just leave the music. Thank you for your reply, and it looks like I am doing a voiceover. So thanks for giving me your input. I could not play the natural sound in the room because there was copyright music going. So I had to mute that part, and so you'll hear my voice and some other music. This is called Tonlier, and it's a nice warm up that we often do. And now we're going into Elevés. Your knees stay straight as you roll up to the balls of your feet, trying to keep the knees straight. And most people feel this in their calves pretty quickly. Probably don't do too many until you're nice and warmed up, but it is a good warm up in and of itself. Now I'm going to start with some plie and releve. So you bend your knees and you straighten, do a few of those and you squeeze your legs together. And then we will add a little releve, which is when you roll up to the balls of your feet. But these are really great for getting your ankles, your Achilles, your calves, nice and warmed up. And really when you use your foot properly, you start to develop the muscles in the foot as well. So here are the releves. And when you get to the top there, you wanna to try to squeeze tight and make your knee straight. So that requires your glutes and your, usually more like your hamstrings. Here is what we call a forced arch releve. So you bend your knees, pop your heels up, and then straighten your knees. And another great way to warm up. And then I'm gonna go the opposite direction. This one is a tendu with a flex and then a point and come back into a plie. Now this one is especially good for your Achilles and you might wonder why I do so many exercises that warm up your Achilles. And my main reason is I paid the price a few years ago when I tore my calf and I actually was warmed up, but I'm a little paranoid of tearing my calf again. I was on crutches for a little bit and it was not fun. I did a lot of ballet from a chair, <laughs> believe it or not. So here we go. This is front, side, and back, point, flex, point, plie, and Usually I do these front side, back side. We call that on kawa in the shape of a cross. How appropriate.
Now this is just going to be tendu without any plie and no flexing and pointing and things. So when you do a tendu, you keep your foot in contact with the floor. And typically you try to keep that knee straight, whether your leg is away from your body or whether it's right under your body. Most people have a little bit of a hard time keeping that knee straight the whole time. So you really have to tighten up through your leg to keep that knee from buckling. My knee is straight. Um, I think in some of these views, it does look a little bit like it's not straight, but maybe it's just the leggings. And this is dégagé. Dégagé is to disengage. So you basically take that foot and pop it up off the floor. A little bit like striking a match where you use the floor to put down some pressure with that foot. And then it lifts off, but you don't go really high. You try to stay in control and keep it fairly close to the floor. It's very similar in concept to a tendu, except this time it pops off the floor. So I like to do sort of a succession of exercises like I traditionally did growing up with ballet. Usually we start with plie, tendu, dégagé, and then to rond de jambe, and then on with some other things. So that's what I'm doing in this video. So you'll see that of course I do it on both sides for every exercise. And here are those ronde jambes. Now, ronde jambes for some reason has always been one of my favorite exercises. For some reason, I just love the little circle. And then I'm doing a little brush through, like a cloche they call it, but basically like the arm of a grandfather clock. And I did a little transition there to go the opposite direction. And we call that on day don, and the other way was on day or. And this one, you get a good hip stretch and warm up, and kind of loosens up your hips. So it's a good one to do for preparation for other things in ballet. Now I am adding a little arabesque with a plie. So as you do the rond de jambe, and then you lift that leg into an arabesque and you wanna to try to keep that bending knee driving over your middle toe so you don't hurt your knee. Of course, with all exercises, depending on your level and what your restrictions are, you wanna first 
always ask your doctor, gosh, I wouldn't want somebody to hurt themselves, but I would assume that if you try these things, you take the risk, but none of this stuff is terribly risky, but sometimes when you bend your knee the wrong way, you can kind of twist it. So you just want to be really careful with that. And these little lifts with the leg, you're going to really feel that in your thighs. So it's a great exercise for building up strength in your leg muscles. Well, extra footage will be on my Patreon when that launches, hopefully January 1st. But until then, I hope that you are enjoying your day, your life, and that you live on fire.